This is a presentation of Hawthorne Public Schools and Bears Broadcasting. Welcome to this edition of Bears Today. I'm Pablo Gonzalez. I'm Daniel Sokolsky. Today we will be taking a look at the best places to get a breakfast sandwich, the upcoming school play, the eSports club. We'll also get a Bears sports update and sit down with a Hawthorne High School teacher and the athlete of the month. Seniors slash class of 2023, the day after holiday dance is the senior volleyball tournament and breakfast. Please come see Ms. Uh, K in room 215 to sign up for your teams. The sooner the better. Teams should include six to eight students. I will have the sign up sheet so that we can get the information to the gym teachers in a timely manner. Thank you. And now we go to Anthony for a report about the eSports club. With the video game industry reaching $1 billion in 2018 and still growing to this day, Halter High School prepares to introduce us to the eSports Club, a club where fellow gamers can compete in local competitions to test out who is the best gamer. Currently, eSports only has three competitions going on, such as the Super Smash Bros. competition, the Valorant tournament, and the Rocky League tournament. Uh, we'll, we're working on teams such as Smash Bros., which I believe we have a full team now, Valorant, and also uh, we're working on trying to get League of Legends also. Well, I think the plans are to um, get a team set up that will be our like, primary team and a secondary team that once it like comes seven. time for tournament that we'll have a primary team to play, and if we need to sub someone in, we can get them from the secondary team. I feel like we could be very successful with a promising looking team. If we uh, work together and play better, we, uh, we're pretty solid. Um, I think that there are a lot of good people in it, and there are also a lot of bad people in it. But the bad people are getting better. Like the people from last year that are now in this year are better than they were last year. I know from experience as a bad person that is true. I mean, I would say it's pretty good. We have decent players. Some aren't that good. Not going to name any names. Additionally, eSports has different future plans such as those of last year, with, the, with talks of getting a VR headset and more gaming PCs. Uh, we may be looking into uh, some VR headsets, maybe, uh, I don't know, more, more systems, probably upgraded versions like PS5, Xbox Series X, Pro maybe just some stuff that we need to uh, help out our uh, competitive sports members so they can uh, practice and be ready for their uh, matches. So, so far we have eSports Club, which is just anyone can come. They can come by, stop by Mondays or Fridays during lunch, uh, and we just hang out, play video games, watch animes, watch whatever, and just hang out. Um, and then we have our eSports team, which is a little bit separate. So our eSports teams are going to start competing in, uh, against scrimmages against different high schools, um, against other schools in general against ourselves and then start running practices and get, hopefully get into some tournaments soon. Um, we are going to start having some tournaments throughout the school hopefully in the next couple months um, whether that be Guitar Hero or Rocket League or Valorant or Smash or anything of those nature so just starting off from the bottom and kind of working our way up getting our name out there and start building up some uh, people in our club. Alright perfect, thank you. No problem. Three tournaments, gaming setups, a Nintendo Switch and even a Guitar Hero in the roster as well as future plans to improve the lineup, HHS Esports will surely have gamers gaming. Thanks. Have you ever bought something that left in a closet unopened and forgotten? You dropped it in there and then it went unnoticed for days, months, years? Whatever this item is, we think it's getting lonely and needs a place to stay. 
bring it to the class of 2024 donation drive, which will be going on today, October 11th through November 30th. All donations must be products that are new, unopened, and not used. Donations will be utilized in an upcoming event named Night of the Races. It is a fundraiser with trick or tray, baskets, raffles, games, and much more. In order to ensure the success of this fundraiser, we need help from your families. Please bring donations straight to Ms. Sol Solovic and Mr. Hardy. More information could be found in the attached flyer. Thank you all in advance. One of Hawthorne High School's favorite teachers, Ms. Red, sits down with Kate for a fun interview. Hi everyone, I'm Kate, and for this month's November Bears Today package, I will be interviewing one of Hawthorne High School's favorite teachers, Ms. Red. Hi, Ms. Red, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. So, uh, for some people who may not know who you are, uh, what subjects do you teach and which grades? So, I have... Is this on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, I have um, sophomore honors mm -hmm. and sophomore CP, and I also teach yearbook. Okay. And uh, have you taught at any other schools? Yes, yeah, so this is actually my 11th year teaching. Mm -hmm. um, I taught in Louisiana for two years while my mm -hmm. husband was in the military. And then I taught for about four years in the Northern Valley School District. So I was at Demaris and Old Tapan. Mm -hmm. And then um, I came here. So this is my fifth year at Hawthorne High School. Oh, that's cool. And uh, what's your favorite part about teaching at Hawthorne High School? I really love getting to know the students. Um, I'm really active in the community as well, mm -hmm. like with extracurricular activities. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I know the students very well and um, it's just a great community to work in. Right, and uh, what clubs or other activities do you do around the school? So I advise the Creative Writing Club and I'm also the senior advisor. Mm -hmm. So I have known this group um, since they were freshmen. So I work very closely with them and now I have a few of them in my yearbook class because that's predominantly seniors as well. So I have a close relationship with that group and um, I'm also a student teacher mentor which they added this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, why did you choose being an English teacher as your career choice? So I always wanted to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. um, I know that's like rare for someone to know what they want to do before they even enter college. I knew before I even went to high school. And then I had amazing English teachers in high school and uh, I always learned through how the teachers actually taught. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, just the lessons and the novels and the plays that, you know, now I get to teach. Um, so I, you know, I, I feel like it was just made for me. I was, right. that's what I was meant to do. And uh, how did you get into teaching the yearbook class? So actually last year, uh, Mr. DeMeo asked if that was something I was interested in and um, said that Mr. Shell has been doing that for like 20 plus years and um, he would help me um, as I start teaching that class and Mr. Shell has been awesome really helping and coming into the class and helping me and the students get to know the program that we use and um, have been, he's been helping us every step of the way so I plan on teaching that moving forward. That's great. I think that's all. Thank okay. you for thank you so much, so much for coming and we'll send it back to the desk. Thank you. No problem. Thanks for coming. Really of course. It. Let's take a look at the upcoming fall play of the importance of being earnest. Why on earth do you say that? Well, in the first place, girls never marry the men they flirt with. Girls don't think it rides. The Importance of Being Earnest is a comedy show about Jack Worthing and Algernon Moncrief, who both decide to adopt the same alter ego of Ernest to escape their own lives and win the hearts of Gwendolyn Fairfax and Cecily Cardew. The show opens December 1st and runs through December 4th. When it comes to uh, theater shows, it's a classic comedy piece. It's engaging, it's funny, it's something that all people can find humor in. Um, it's also a great show for you know getting people, especially if they're new to theater, to become more involved and see what it's actually like without being overwhelming at the same time. Across the board, our actors love this show, so much in fact that they couldn't just pick one favorite part. I think definitely the muffins, the whole muffin ordeal. Muffin scene? When Algy, I think, insults my outfit, and Cecily does it too. Oh, the part where uh, Gwendolyn and Cecily are like passive-aggressive towards each other. It's the final handbag scene where we find out that 
Jack has actually been my older brother the entire time. My personal favorite part is the fight between Gwendolyn and Cecily. The argument between Cecily and Gwendolyn. Uh, the whole exchange between the two of them is just very humorous, and it's done very well. Although this show is fun, like any show, there are challenges we face. I think playing a person who definitely, like, Jack, he, uh, he lies a lot, and he, like, he kind of changes his, like, emotions a lot. Like, sometimes he's very, like, trying to seem, like, laid back and, like, go with a lie. Sometimes he's a little bit more, like, nervous, and it changes a little fast. Um, I think the most challenging part of my role is creating, like, a good character dynamic between all the characters, whilst, like, playing the character of Algy because he has, like, extreme highs of emotion. And so the most challenging part of the show is actually, it's the comedy itself. Comedy is hard to teach people how to do. It's hard to tell someone this is how to be funny. This year, our leads are both sophomores. They're Colin, playing Jack, and Yoel, playing Algernon. Thankful and grateful to, like, have this kind of role, and that, like, I was trusted to, I guess, have this kind of role, because it's a lot. I'm surprised about it, but I'm also, like, honored that I was given this responsibility. It's kind of stressful, but I'm proud that I'm able to do it, and I hope I do it justice. Remember to come out and support the show December 1st through the 4th. I'm Sophia Bassalone with Daniel Sikolsky. And Thanks, Sophia. We'll be back after this short break with your various sports update. Are you okay to drive? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yo, yo, chill out, bro. What's up? You What's swerving. Up? Nah, I'm good. Yo, I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm good. Nah, I'm good. Yo, look out! Yo. Wear a mask. It's fighting for our lives. Good morning. All students 9 through 12 interested in playing flag football sponsored by the Jets must have attended a brief meeting after school on November 17th in the cafeteria. Any questions see Dr. Edwards, Ms. Rodriguez, or Ms. Alvarez in the main office. Boys varsity tryouts begin Monday, November 21st. Time 3 to 4.30, HHS Main Gym. 11.22, time 4.30 to 6, HHS Main Gym. 11.23, time 2 o'clock to 3 p.m., HHS Main Gym. You must have submitted a physical and been cleared to try out. Boys freshman basketball tryouts will begin on Monday, November 21st at 3 p.m. in the small gym with Coach uh, Ralston. You must have had a physical and be cleared in order to try out. Attention all lacrosse players. There will be a brief mandatory meeting this Thursday after school for all returners and new players. Please let all new players know it will be a brief meeting, so please be prompt. We will meet in room 301. All students that are planning to try out for the baseball for baseball this spring should join the Baseball Google Classroom. The Fall Sports Awards took place on November 21st after school varsity, varsity bowling First game is December 13th at 4 p.m. versus Butler. Girls basketball's first game is on December 15th at 4 p.m. versus Lenoya. Boys basketball's first game is also on December 15th at 7 p.m. versus uh, uh, Bogot. Now for a look at some delicious breakfast food. I'm Jack. And I'm Mike. And today we're going to be exploring local bagels in the Hawthorne area. I'll see y'all on the next clip of bagels and fire trucks. Okay guys, we have the beautiful Goldberg's Bagel located in uh, Allendale. We picked this sucker up. It's a bacon, egg and cheese on an everything bagel. You wanna describe your bagel? All right, so I have the hometown favorite. I have the wonderful bacon, egg and cheese on an everything bagel from Carlos's. 
And uh, we're gonna get Jack just now. Open that. Open the sucker in. up. That's yeah. a bagel. So, I just wanted to see that. Oh, oh God! Look at that. Mm. Okay. Here, Mike. Hold on. Let's get a, let's get a little zoom in on that. Right. Oh yeah, let's get a little zoom in on that. Oh. Beautiful. Now, the only left thing to do left is to give a taste. That's it. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. We didn't even try any of the other ones. I give it a... Welcome back guys. We got another bagel here. We got Carlos's bagel shop. Fresh out of uh, Hawthorne, New Jersey. Conveniently located on Lafayette Avenue. Right by the high school. Uh, again, this is gonna be a bacon, egg, and cheese. Let's open her up quick. Let's get a, let's get a shot. Uh, oh! Oh, she's looking pretty good. A little melted cheese and everything. Wow. Look at that. Okay. Oh, here, we go. here we go. Let's get the shot. Puffy bagel, very seedy. Very good. I give it six out of ten. That will do it for today's bacon, bacon, egg, and cheese on delicious New Jersey bagels. That will do it again for today. I'm Jack. Highlighting local businesses. Highlighting local businesses. I'm Jack. I'm Mike. And uh, go Bears. Go Bears. This is uh, bagels and fire trucks. Thanks for that look at that yummy looking food. Thanks, Jack and Michael. That will do it for this edition of Bears Today. I'm Paul Gonzalez. I'm Daniel Sokolsky. Join us next time on Bears Today. Have a great day and go Bears. This has been a presentation of Hawthorne Public Schools and Bears Broadcasting.